happening today. Students in Moore going back to school. Sky 5 flying live over the Moore bus barn right now. Some students will be in person in the classroom. Others will learn virtually from home. Safe to say that this is a, a first day unlike any other year. It definitely is. And KOCL's Christine Sandwood is joining us now live from Moore High School. And Christine, it's a big day. What can parents expect? Alejandra, Jason, I can tell you really in the last few minutes, kids have already started to come to school in the parking lot, either for those extracurricular activities. I know some of them are getting ready for band practice ahead of the big school day. Like you guys said, it is such a big day for kids. They're going to either return to class in person here at Moore High School Stepping Foot in the first time in months or either they're going to learn virtually. We do know that a majority though are going to return back to school in person, but for those who are choosing to learn virtually, they've got that return to learn plan. More public schools tells us 6,000 of the district's 25,000 students are enrolled in virtual classes. Students who are learning virtually will be overseen by certified more teachers. I even spoke to one mom who's choosing to send her kids back to school in person. Here's what she's had to say about her decision. They're going to have their lunch on the same side of the table and, you know, spread apart so they're not facing each other and having, you know, you know, their, I guess, breath coming in each other's faces. Their desks are not going to be touching. They'll be all spread apart. So more public school says all teachers and staff and students who are either in the uh, seventh through 12th grades, they're going to be required to wear masks when they come to school. Uh, and that decreases by how young your child is with those mask requirements. Also good news, the superintendent says that they've got a really big stockpile of PPE. So if that is a concern of yours, the superintendent says that that's their first priority is to keep kids safe. Sky 5 flying over us right now getting a better look at the bus barn for what you can expect for your kiddos and your morning commute. If you want a full list of what you can expect for other schools that are reopening either this week or next week, head to KOCO5.com. For now, we're live in more Christine Sandwood, KOCO5 News.